Okay, good morning everybody. It's break time right now. We're just actually getting ready to get back out of the truck and go out here and start welding. But just an update, computer is actually at the Apple store. Um, so we're going old school. We're on the phone again for a little bit, for a couple days anyways. Hopefully it's done tomorrow, but I don't know. They said it was gonna be done today, but I guess their tech never showed up. So anyway, no big deal, not a big deal. We're gonna do it this way and we're just gonna make us a little video and, and hopefully try to get it posted on this so that you guys can keep track of what we're up to. But right now we're getting ready to tie in the compressor. Um, <coughs> I built a couple little swedges uh, so they could thread a valve set together. And then from there, we built some two inch, 600 pound flanges with some nipples. I'll go out there and show you guys those. And they're gonna thread a check valve in it. So I don't know, we're kind of, they're kind of having a hard time getting parts for this job. So we're just kind of making it work and putting it together and everything's gonna be rocking and rolling. So anyways, you guys, so we're getting ready to head out here. It's 10, 15. Don't milk your brakes. Okay, everybody else can milk their brakes, but you don't want to be the guy that milks your brakes, okay? So we are headed out here, so we'll see you guys out here. Okay, so this is what we're building right now. These are 600 pound flanges to like a three inch nipple, and it's all threaded on this side, and then they're gonna thread a check valve, bleed ring, and then uh, my tie-in pieces to it. So, that is what we are up to. We built two of them, one right there, we got our discharge line headed out that way. We got our tie-in suction that's gonna be cut like right there, throw on another three inch bow, or flange, be good to go. But man, we've gotten a lot done, you guys. I was hoping to fly the drone around a little bit after work and, and uh, kind of give you guys a little better idea of how much has been done. I mean, a ton. This is 30 days, 30, they gave us 30 working days to get this done. <clears throat> we still got 10 left and we're gonna be done this week or middle of next week mm -hmm. All those tanks need to be connected still. Yeah, so that's what Josh went over and got Josh the welder went over and pulled all the measurements for it and now we're gonna start building it But this Josh right here is gonna buff up this and then we're hauling these over to the bolt up hands roustabouts the mechanics whatever you want to call them and uh, they can start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the guys, this is what we're building right now. We gotta build the fusers, and basically what it is, and I'll show you one that we've already built, is it's a piece of three inch pipe with threads on this end. It's gonna thread into a collar, into like a, four inch, basically I gotta take a collar, weld it inside of a piece of pipe, weld it, and then and then they gotta thread it. Now, this is what it looks like when it's all done. This is a 22 degree angle. Um, that basically what it's doing is this is going inside one of those tanks right there, right up there at the top. It's gonna slide in and when, when that thing starts building up pressure, <clears throat> if you don't give it a diffuser, something that's gonna hit and then spray out, this thing's gonna shoot straight into that tank and wash a hole out of that tank. So that's no good. So this is how we're fixing it. Now what we're doing is this is a 22 degree angle. I'll show you how to lay out the next one. 22 on each side to make a 45. Yeah, to make a 45. Sorry, 22 angle on, so, to, so it makes a 45 drops down. Total angle. Total angle. But anyway so this this is kind of our little project for right now we got four of these to build this is number two and yeah we gotta we gotta put expanded metal on this end that's like a grating it's like a grating like something to just try to make it just break up instead of being a jet so he's cleaning those up and then we're gonna start welding them all together there's one he's already got all taken care of all right you can get the measurements out of the blue book on how to do this. Now we're going to show you the page, how to lay it out. It's not the greatest way to lay out a degree, but it works. It's way easier if you got to. Now I need a center mark on this, which our measurement for we're trying to make them all the same is three and three quarters. So from the end of the nipple, I came back three and three quarters, which I erased this mark because I don't need it anymore. That's just the center line, so I can get 
three quarters this way and three quarters that way, which is in the blue book. Don't lose the last piece of soap. That is all we got left That's until my got. truck gets back. Yeah, sparingly. Oh, shit, I dropped. Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, page number 13 and 14. So center line, then measure over. See, I'm going to have to go directly on the bottom of that. So you could divide by the circumference of the pipe and figure out exactly half. A trick to that is you could use millimeters. If you have millimeter wrap around, it's way easier to do the math. Or get one of those fancy calculators Jake has. Um, and then you got to measure over. So I'll mark right here, then come back to the bottom, mark the opposite side of the pipe, exactly 180 degrees away. And then you look at this chart, three inch for a 22 and a half <laughs> degree to a 45 degree turn. So we make a 45 degree fitting, essentially, which is three quarters over. Just like I said. Three quarters on both sides. So this is going to be the top mark. Yep. And we're going to do a wrap around. Then we're going to do another wrap around three quarters this way. But that will be the bottom mark. Yep. So it'll angle this way. Yep. So and I'll then we'll use a wrap around and get it all. It'll be just like this. Just like that. And then we cut them and, and weld them together. Yep. As simple as that. Nice work, guy. No problem. Get it done. Which, I mean, you can get the little V deal that sits on there. This one's got a magnet smack in the middle, so all he does is just moves around. He even has an arrow kind of in the yeah. center right there. These things don't have to be perfect on this, but if it did have to be perfect, we'd probably be using a chop stop. Or measuring, oh yeah, yeah. Or measuring the circumference on the pipe. Yeah, or measuring circumference. Throw that on the bottom. Yeah, I was gonna grab that angle in. <clears throat> but this is just kind of a quick way to kind of find center and then and then uh, that way you can kind of move a little faster. Same thing with if you have to lay out an old list that's not super accurate. Dave, here you at? Oh snap, dude! What the world? <laughs> I did not even <laughs> expect that. <laughs> Holy cow! Yeah. Angle iron that's hopefully straight. This is a really short section. And take your mark that you made with your level, run it, and it'll give you a straight line across. So then we're going to come down kind of this way with a wrap around. Essentially. Essentially. Cut it with a torch, grind it up, weld it together. Boom, done. done. Just kind of the end of the job. Yeah, slowing down, waiting on stuff. Yeah. Waiting on people. Yep. Waiting on parts and things like that. But man, it's it's coming along. We're almost done. This facility is going to be wrapped up next week, and then we move on to the next one. <coughs> Starting to get these facilities kind of figured out. I uh, I've always kind of fabricated, and but usually it's like here's a print, build it, you know. And this has been. This has been a great job. I've learned a lot. For one, I feel like you always need to be learning on a job. Is that not right? I agree. Yeah. There's always somebody that's faster, better than you are, and uh, and it's good to learn from them. So, anyways, on, I mean, on all these facilities, we've been learning how to take better measurements, how to make sure things are accurate, how you know, just lots of good stuff. Two inch. <coughs> Finally figuring out my two inch. Using lots of lasers to figure out measurements. Mm -hmm. That's new. Yep, for you. For me, and I don't think you had done it a whole lot. Uh, no. Nope. These facilities. Tell these facilities. Yep, I on these facilities. My word, again. I'm like mumbling, yeah. mumbling, mumbler. Anyways, it's been great. I've loved it. But we are on our way home right now. 
Liza's made a pork tenderloin. <coughs> Hopefully she's made a couple. But, oh, one thing I do gotta do is I gotta go wash this truck. The rental, because the rental is going back. Oh, on Friday? It goes back tomorrow. <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday. This truck goes back Thursday, and then, I'm trying to think, my truck will be done tomorrow night. We'll get it back, and then Friday morning, we'll load the machine and load everything in it, and we're back to normal. Thank freaking goodness. Yeah, anyway. I miss that truck. Yeah, I miss boxes. I miss being able to put stuff heads. away. Yes. Where are you right now? <laughs> super, super. Ugh. Looks so miserable. That's why I don't wear shorts. Got some good things going on. Why do you need barbecue sauce? Just waiting on Liza right now. She's just getting back to the house. We just got done eating dinner over at Randy's. Her dad's house. He's right over there. Same campground, so it's nice. But uh She's just getting ready to kick these dogs loose and I'm gonna call them over and then we're gonna play a little bit and uh, and then go from there. Ace, Edie, here! Here they come. Hey, here! Hey, what you guys doing? Uh, what you guys doing? Come on, what you guys doing? To get Not that kind of toy, okay, jeez. So I ordered some new collars. Why don't you cut it the other way? The other day. And I ordered them from Gundog Supply. Gundogsupply.com. They are super fast, they're awesome. They do name tags on your collars, which is like a riveted, basically a riveted uh, collar system. And they are here quick. So, just so everybody can see. Can you see that? And it's got our phone numbers and stuff on them, but they're all riveted and like, they're just nice collars. $12 a piece. That includes the name tag. Like I think total data is $25 into getting these shipped to you and everything. So, anyways, it's always exciting to get new cool stuff for the dogs um yeah that's basically gonna be the end of the night you guys so everybody have a great night be blessed i will talk to you later see ya